Protests erupted in parts of Lebanon on Thursday evening following the naming of Hassan Diab as the country's next prime minister. Confirmed by more than 50 percent of Lebanon's 128 parliamentarians, Diab, a former education minister, has the task of forming the next government to tackle the country's mounting economic, political and social problems. Hassan Diab is a, a vice president at the American University of Beirut. He used to be minister of education about 10 years ago. Uh, he's someone who is close and affiliated with the uh, Amal movement. Uh, uh, headed by the Speaker of the House, Nabih Birri, as well as his allies, Hezbollah and the uh, Free Patriotic Movement. Uh, he doesn't have a popular base, he's never been elected to office, and I'm not so sure he knows what to do with an economy falling apart. Lebanon has faced a wave of unprecedented protests by demonstrators who believe the government is to blame for the country's $86 billion public debt. Since mid-October, people have been gathering, marching, camping out, demanding changes to Lebanon's entire political system. This led to former Prime Minister Saad Hariri's resignation, but then the government, led by sectarian power-sharing, took nearly two months to choose his replacement, as many wrestled to maintain their political share. Yet demonstrators who have been camping out in Beirut's Martyr Square since protests first broke out in October say they want more than fresh faces, they want political and social reforms. The minimum, the minimum stuff that every country has that we don't have, electricity, uh, water, uh, universities for free, uh, free uh, insurance for people, uh, old people just to get what uh, they need, uh, medicines uh, for free. The things. This is the minimum to be called a county. Millions across Lebanon are fed up with daily power outages, a lack of safe drinking water, inadequate infrastructure and minimal employment opportunities. Many are calling these times the start of a new Lebanon, whose problems date back to even before the devastating 15-year civil war that wrecked havoc on this country. This time, the anger crosses sectarian lines, and some are even saying is bringing the Lebanese people together. As the holidays near, the spirit in this tent is rich, as university graduates from different religious communities have come together to fight for one common goal. Uh, you can have new ideas, you can give them ideas. We studied together, we eat together. We are Lebanese first. This is the new country that we are building. I think the protests have forced a new alignment in Lebanon between a ruling political class that depends on clientelism, nepotism, and a total system of corruption all across versus a street that doesn't take it anymore. Analysts predict it will take months for Diab to form a new cabinet that not only the people on the street will agree with, but one that will be able to implement the right reforms to turn Lebanon around. Natalie Carney, CGTN, Beirut, Lebanon.